Hi guys, this is Cy from Cyanai Software. I'm just going to talk about the camera clipping in our Proxi plugin. So let's just get a Proxi out here. And we will actually just going to use a box for this because it's always sort of need to cast some shadows. So let me just get a box in here. And we will add our box to our Proxi. And might as well show it in box mode. And we will make some instances. So let's just go and actually just slide this down over here. And we'll instance it out. Quite a few. All right. So if I was to render this, it's going to render pretty much everything that's in the scene. Now, if I had thousands and thousands of these, it's going to be pretty taxing. So what we want to do is apply some camera cl clipping. And let me just go out to perspective mode and grab our camera. And go back into the camera view. So if I was to render this now, and let's just kick this down so one of these are off the screen. And let me just render that. So what we have here is now it's just rendering what's in our frame. So you can see we're missing our shadow over here. So what we're going to want to do is, depending on what's in the scene or what, you might not need to use this, but um, we have an expansion. So we're going to expand this up to 10 and render this out now. And what you'll see is now we've gained our shadow back. Um, so um, it's a big mistake a lot of times to not check this because uh, you'll get things that are animated cameras moving across the screen and as soon as that object leaves it disappears in the camera clipping but you'll see its shadow pop away which is <laughs> not the desired effect in an animation so um, that's the expansion in our camera clipping uh, this setting is uh, it's between 0 and 100 and it's just a basic spread of how far it goes out. I believe we're actually doing it in a standard measurement of how much we're expanding. So it's just a number in between 1 and 100 or 0 and 100. So thanks a lot guys. Have a good one. See ya.